All right, as you can see, like I said, I got these bolts out finally. I'm happy about that. I put silicone and then a uh, penny over top as like added coverage or whatever, I guess, um, to make sure the hole was covered. Some of these were bent up, so they're not sitting very flush, but I don't think it's gonna matter because of where they're at. I'm not gonna have anything right on top of them anyway. Like on the flooring, when I put the flooring down, that's gonna be sitting right on top. It'll just be storage area, so it'll be nothing heavy. Uh, see, it's pretty nasty, so that's what I'm about to do is when I get some cleaning supplies and like a mop and stuff from the dollar store. So I'm gonna sweep it out, mop it, and while it's drying, I have my plywood outside laid out already, and it's already cut. Uh, so I'm gonna lay the insulation, which is over there, which got chewed up by the dog yesterday, which I'm upset about, but he just got the corner, so if it was any more, I'd really be mad. Um, but I'm gonna roll the insulation out and cut it, so that'll be ready when this dries. When it dries, I'll put the insulation in and then the plywood on top. Um, the back part of that plywood, for the very back, needs a little bit cut off, so I'm gonna see if I have a saw downstairs to do that. If not, I'll just cut it tomorrow to fit. But by the end of this video today, I will have that insulation and plywood in here and I'll be putting stuff on top like those cabinets so they don't get rained on it anymore because, of course, it is supposed to rain all next week once again. But it is beautiful outside today. It's probably 73 or something and the wind's blowing and I have shorts on. <laughs> I made a little more shorts outside in a little while. But, it, I mean, it's been raining. Although it's been warm, it's been raining. So, finally, a day without rain is beautiful. I just need one more day of this, and I'll be good to go. But it's supposed to rain all next week. My last week of break. But as long as I get this floor done and my cabinets and stuff back in here, I'm going to situate it. I'll probably even bring my air mattress out here and lay it in here. Because I'm not going to build the bed. I may start a little bit later this week, depending on the we how the weather is. But I may not start on that until, like, next month sometime. But, yeah getting things done finally got these bolts out oh yeah and you can probably see like these i haven't taken out that one on that side and the one on this side but uh i think i'm just gonna take this part off with this bolt right here and uh keep this one here because if i ever need to like really secure something i can use this possibly to secure something too even if it's just like my bed frame or something so secure it to that since it's already there instead of having to cut that out too and uh yeah i need to make a video on my layout my sketches that i've done so far my ideas so you can vote on that as well but i think i pretty much know how my setup's going to be um and you can probably see i've insulated these windows i'm just going to block them off that one right there as well this one and the one across from here so i've cut them the reflectix and the fabric that i've already made for them i put on there so the black side the fabric is facing outward uh, and then this is on this side of it so it's like double insulation to some degree I mean, this is I think this is an inch inch of insulation um, so I just cut those out put those in there but yeah we're gonna see how this goes on the rest of this but right now it's just a floor I'm not even gonna talk about the walls and stuff yet we'll get to that when we get to it but for now I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, cleaning this floor so we're gonna see what happens and while I was at the dollar store, I got me another cutter. So it's not like the box cutter, it's an actually long blade. Um, so this will help when I do some more foam insulation and uh, as well to cut the rest of this carpet out that I have over here. And it also came with some refill blades too. So it's just a dollar. I'm sure it won't last too long, but it'll get the job done for now at least. So cool. See, this would have came in handy earlier, but <laughs> all right, let's do this.
Plectrix tape, aluminum tape, whatever you call it. This is the next step to connect all the pieces. The inside is all clean. I put a little bit more uh, silicone in some spots just to make sure. So I'm letting that sit a little bit longer. Probably wait another 30 minutes or so. It'll be dark by the time that's done. So I probably won't record anymore today. I'll just record tomorrow morning uh, when I get up and do some more work. But um, yeah, I got the insulation cut out and taped up. So it's ready to go. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna roll it down toss it in roll it out and it should fit but it's easy to cut it so even if it doesn't I can make it work I have like a nice amount left uh, in my roll over here so I can use this uh, over the wheel wells more than likely I'll use some as well as uh, I could use it for some of the walls or maybe even the roof uh, if I end up taking some of that down so that I have extra in case I need it so that's awesome that's good but yeah it's beautiful out here today. I'm gonna finish this up, put uh, my shelf in here, and uh, I might record a little tonight. I don't know. It'll be dark by the time I put the flooring in. If not, then I'll record in the morning. Let me show what's up. But oh my goodness, this wind feels so good. This is my type of weather out here. I love it. But I just know the cold's coming right after this, so can't get too used to it. All right, we'll see how this goes.